Matt Lenehan for Boxing Social and Association with Forge Irish Stout, Empire Fight Store, Freebets.com. We're here, Belfast, um, Ulster Hall this Saturday, Jamie. Um, a cracking card put together off the back of, obviously, a co-promotional show with Matt Room for Lewis Crocker, um, Kurt Walker, Challengers James Beach for the... There's a title on the line. Um, just talk to me about this fight. It's a good show. It's it's a progressive show. It's for uh, for Irish boxing, Belfast boxing in general. They kind of try and build. You know, we have the big nates, you know, the big SSC nates, but these these nates grow the next generation of talent through, and that's that's what this show is. It's called the breakout because it could be the breakout fight for Kurt Walker, which we which we're trying to do. Uh, James Beach Jr. is is a is a fighter who's been there and done it. He mixes with the top lads. And if you're not good enough, you won't beat him. But if you're good enough, then you're right in the mix. So that's exactly what it is. With one or two fights also planned for the card, which which were on the same kind of wavelength, Fergus Quinn and against Aston Brown. But that one just, which I was really excited. That would have been a banger. Yeah. But but we, we we filled it in well with with Rudy Rudy and Conor Kerr, and I think for Irish boxing and for for the growth of boxing here, mm -hmm. them kind of fights are necessary. Um, building building rivalries, building building divisions with George who's also on the card and. That's exactly what, what this card is, is basically a, a good progressive card for, for bigger shows down the road. Yeah, I've only spoken to two of them so far, but they've both spoke about obviously how um, Irish, um, Irish boxing at the minute, we've had people open the doors over the years, like we see yourself, Michael and Katie Taylor, and how important it is, and the sort of that position now for someone to sort of take the bull by the horn so that we can continue to have these big nights over here. How proud are you of the work that you've done so far? I know you're only still in the early stages, but um, you know, putting... Belfast boxing on the map and really trying to give it that push that it needs. I've always been very vocal on 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 the quality we have here in Ireland um, and the quantity to go with it. So now that the the broadcasters are starting to see that more and more, and we're getting more and more shows, and you're getting the UK promoters likes of Matchroom and likes of Queensbury all looking at shows in, in Belfast and putting Belfast on their diary to have further schedule is is a testament to the fighters that's coming through, giving these fighters here. An opportunity to grow, to get better, to get the big nights, to get the big SSC fights. That's kind of what, what we're here to do. Um, to do that, you need to have these Ulster Hall nights, you know, compact, 1,500 people. Good so atmosphere, though. Yeah, great. But the, 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 the boxing public in the Ulster Hall, they, it's a real, they know their audience, they know their fights. They, the audience kind of are at one with the fighters. They respect even the away opponents. You know, you don't really see much people getting completely booed out of the ring. You know, in January, we had Jose Felix. He didn't get booed coming in, but... It, but Bring him back, by the way. Fuck yeah, hell. yeah. You know, like, that's... that's he, they understand a good fighter. He was here in August, two years prior to it, against Tyrone McKenna, so they, they respected and understood what he was bringing to the table. Fighter, or the fans here know good fighters and know, and know what they get behind, know what they're watching. So the Ulster Hall's always been uh, iconic to, to, to boxing here in, in the country, and... Long may continue, but it's it sets the stage for the, the boys to gain it. You tap the Ulster Hall two or three times, you get the, the crowd behind you, you start to become a name in the city, then you can move on to the bigger stages in the SSC arena. When you look at the promotional scene at the minute as well, there's a lot of things happening, um, people working together more frequently as well, but um, it's also good to come up with some innovation as well, and I saw yourselves with um, one of your sponsors, that prize guy who's doing a lot of good <laughs> a lot of good things, and there's a big sort of money machine that's coming, um, it's going to get thrown around and someone's going to be get chosen to try and win, is it £2,000? Yeah, um, this is Paul from that prize guy came to us just after Christmas and he said, listen, I've got this idea. I want to put the cash machine in the ring. And when he said it, I was like, fuck me, why has no one done this before? It's insane. It's so insane that it only can work in boxing, you know, because boxing is the Red Light District of Sport and that's where something like this works. But it's fantastic. It's free entry. Your ticket get guaranteed, so a ticket will be drawn out on the night and someone gets a chance. So initially we were going to get the, the whoever drew the ticket out to get into the, the machine, but then we realised that throughout the night that person may be inebriated or intoxicated. Let's get someone in. So I think we'll have one of the boys in Tyrone, Potty, uh, we're trying to wrap it, or Frampton or Michael, one of them is in, the, in, the, in to do it. And yeah, looking forward to it, it's a bit different. Uh, and live on the zone as well, a bit of a coup as well. Obviously, it's a big weekend of boxing. I know, um, obviously, in London, Fabio Wardley, Fraser Clark, yeah. they go out on the Sunday. But for you guys to have the zone sort of backing you and giving you that chance to say, look, 
let's see what you can do. Um, yeah. You must be happy with that because it's a big. So it's where a lot of things are happening at the minute on the zone. It is. It is. For a long time, I was told boxing and sport will go streaming and, and the apps will take over, and it seems like it is coming that way. The zone have been trying to grind that out through the process of moving moving the the eyes from TV to the to the phone and to the app, and I think they're more or less succeeding. They're 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 really cornering the boxing market now, and they're really getting in there and. What they've done with Matchroom in the UK is is amazing. It was a big risk for Eddie at the time to make that jump, mm -hmm. and, and it seems like it's pro proven or, or came off well. Like so, to to get them to like to understand the vision, to try and draw the like, the Irish boxing is a market that has been on top for so many years. That mm -hmm. is something that can be really grown to get in at this at this stage where it's kind of more of a grassroots stage to get to the bigger stage, to, to get behind and see the building of fighters, to see the career when they are 3-0, and 4-0, to give them exposure on the zone. It's amazing. It's amazing for Irish boxing. It's amazing for every boxer on the card to finally get what I've been banging the drum on a chance to showcase their, to showcase the talent, so it should it should lift the levels of the fighters on the undercard and, and give them as an opportunity to, to really steal the show. Another big plus and 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 and, and feather in the cap for us is no other. We're not competing with anyone else on the night. Yeah, you know, brilliant. You, yeah, yeah. So eyeballs will be driven to to the to the boxing on Saturday. What's the, the next step for you? Obviously, you've put shows on before, and we know that, but obviously you're wanting to grow the brand, grow Conlon Boxing. Have you got things in the pipeline, a little smidgen of something you can sort of say what you've got planned, or is that all got to be kept under No, I think, I think we'll sit down after after this one, and, and Kenneth, we, we do have uh, a schedule planned out for the year, um, both in Belfast and, and then around the other parts of Ireland, and then looking elsewhere in England and trying to kind of grow the operation a bit bigger. But... It's a vital stage of what we're doing. We, we'll sit down, assess af after Saturday, and enjoy the Easter break, and, and kind of put the plan in motion. But we do have we do have venues booked in the summer. We've do we've outsider venues in terms of. I, I know Mick had met over with Ken Casey in Boston as well about looking to do something in Boston um, with with Ken and seeing if there's opportunities that can be done there because of the Irish demographic in Boston. Sorry to cut you off. Falls Park is there a chance? We are we're in discussions, yeah, with the Falls Park about yeah, we need to bring that back. Yeah, nah. it's we done it last year with Potty, and I wasn't happy of how we done it. Like we didn't, we missed out on the big stands, we missed out on the lot, and and I'd had a meeting with Kevin, and I'd said like if we're gonna do it, we got to do it the real way, the right way, and I don't want to do it just by. Know, getting bums on seats. I want to make sure it looks good, feels good, has that atmosphere, and 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 we kind of keep that going forward. We need the right fighters to be in part of that. We are in discussions with two or three fights, um, but we do have it in our in our sights for the end of July, start of August. I want to just quickly talk on. Obviously, I know you touched on Kurt earlier and said about how this is the type of fight where if he doesn't turn up, you know. Yeah. James Beach, the type will capitalise on it. Another one of the fighters that was on the previous show, um, in Lewis Crocker, he was long talked about fighting a Paddy Donovan. What sort of involvement, or can, what can you tell us about that? Um, we're just waiting on an announcement. We've 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 done a deal with Crack. We'll fight in June. Um, um, he's currently in camp with Billy Nelson now. It's a great fight. It's a big fight. Matchroom have given him a fantastic plan. I think to kind of really have his. Uh, have his chance to shine and become the next big superstar of Irish boxing. He has got all the talent. And one thing we're always saying, he wasn't getting the opportunity. Now he has the opportunity. He's, he's not going to let this one go through his hands. It's a fantastic fight next. It's a proper fire fight next. And then I think we're all, we're all systems go then if both boys come through with Paddy Donovan and, and, and Lewis before the end of the year. Um, just quickly moving away from this car, because I know you've got a lot of people wanting to speak to you. Um, Big fight that's coming up, Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. I've got to touch on that with you, um, or else I get shot for not asking. Um, Tyson looks in incredible shape. Obviously, the first fight sort of fell out because of the injury to the eye. But what's your feeling coming into this now? I'm intrigued. Um, I, I really, I fancy, I, I fancy Tyson. I think, I think he's got all the attributes to really make it a harney for us. But Usyk is an enigma that no one has been able to really uh, solve yet. I think the saves will be the big factor on, on this fight. I think there has been some things in terms of the body shots that have registered. And you can start to look... You, know, you can look at the Dubois fight and say, you know what, there was, even when he was hitting him to the body, he did keep looking at the referee as if to say, you know, maybe kind of thing. Do you think he's looking at that going, well, let's, let's see? Well, we, we've always been told 
a good Began will always be a, a great Litlin or a good Litlin, and, and he, that is the factor because he is a natural cruiserweight coming up. But no one has kind of solved it yet, and you've seen Harry AJ is big, strong, the, the athleticism in AJ, and he wasn't able to solve it. I think what beats Usyk is the unorthodox approach that Fury brings. Harry leans on you. Harry, he is unpredictable in his attacks. He's unpredictable in his movements. And Usyk it relies on predictable, predicting the other, reading the opponent, reading the movement. Mm-hmm. Fury doesn't know sometimes what he's actually going to do and flick the jab when he's going to do it. Yeah. The body is a, is, is a source of weakness and, and something that I think that the boys will expose. Outside of your current stable now, just a random one for you. Who's the one fighter you really enjoy watching? Or you'd be like, you know what, I'll stay up till 4 a.m. and tune in. Have you got a couple you're like, you know what, I have to see that? Or is it a case of you're inboxing, you're always doing, anytime you get to sort of chill and relax, you take yourself away from it. But is there a particular fighter you look at and go, you know what, I'll stay up and watch him for sure? Uh, uh, probably because he's just recent. I, I really enjoy Dalton Smith. I thought, yeah, I thought, great. yeah, I thought, um, I'm not staying up to 4 a.m. No, but the watch, but uh, have, when you have three kids, get your fucking sleep. But Dalton Smith, I think, yeah, there's something about Dalton Smith that I really like. I've always kind of seen the and, and like he, he, he could make it. Harry went about his business last Saturday. True, sure, wasn't it? Oh, unreal. Harry handled them first two rounds. Um, listen to the dad. I think Grant Smith is probably the best coach in England. Underrated. Yeah, very underrated. Him and Sean, Sean um, O'Hagan. O'Hagan are so underrated and you know I think looks are deceiving but the boys do a fantastic job and, and hardly go about their business but you could see in the, you could feel the intensity of a fight when you know when you're in with a puncher and you know when the pressure's against you when you know you're being forced to kind of probably fight in a, a way that you're not used to fighting as in fighting on the back foot the way he was and having to be very selective and cautious and or cagey and cautious but then Harry, Harry went about his work, I, th- I thought was fantastic. And Harry, he's improving and the progression that he's shown has been been really, really uh, impressive. Would you like to see him and Adam Azim now? Yes, yeah. I think he beats Adam Azim. Um, Can you understand why maybe, um, I know Ben's alluded to the fact that it's down to um, Shane and their team to decide what they do next, etc. Could you see maybe why Adam Azim, who's only... X amount of fights in, still a young man. Um, I know he's been fast tracked to the European level, but could you see why they'd maybe say, "Look, that fight will happen, but we'll wait"? Or do you say, "Why not just roll the dice now?" No, like, listen, Shane and the McGuigans are very smart. One thing they know is how to, to bring a fighter along and, and to, to take the fights at the right time when it suits them more than a than a fifty fifty. Me, as a general boxing fan, obviously want to see it as a neutral. But if you're in the camp of Adam Azim, you, you think why? You know, you're building a fantastic profile himself on Sky. He's got a great following. You know, there is a kind of bit of momentum building behind him. You kind of you can you can set out your own path. He doesn't necessarily need Dalton. Yeah. Boxing needs it. Boxing needs the fights to come together. But if they're in one camp, it doesn't suit them. Right. Um, finally, um, is it going to be a sellout on Saturday? You think? Yeah, I think we're already sold out. I think we're already we're, done. Uh, yeah, I think we're already, we have to go around and check with the the, the Ulster Hall. But it, yeah, it, it, um, it was there was about sixty four tickets left at the start of the week. Forty six tickets left at the start of the week, and they'll be gone. So I, I think um, we're due to head round after this and, and sit down. But I think we're all we're all dusted. We're probably announced that tomorrow. Magic, well, look, if you can't get down to Ulster Hall, live on the zone, um, a terrific night of boxing and obviously a bit of a warm up as well for what's coming on Sunday, a great weekend of boxing. Jamie Conlon, appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to Boxing Social. Catch up soon. Cheers, man. Thanks for coming.